Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good morning. How are you today? My name is Muhammad Yazid bin Abdul Ghani. Today, I will help you to learn about the microscope. For your information, we do have two types of microscope. First, we call it as a light microscope and second one, we call it as an electron microscope. For today, I'm going to show you about the light microscope you can see from here. Alright, so in our lab in Mikos, we do have the only microscope we call it as a light microscope. The brand for this light microscope is Nikon YS100. Did you know what is the main function for the microscope? Yes, of course, the main function of the microscope, we have to enhance the resolution. For what? In microbiology lab, we cannot see, we cannot observe the microorganism using our naked eyes because the size of the microorganism is very small. It's the smallest thing in the world. So, in order we to observe the smallest thing in the world, we have to use the light microscope. Student, did you know the difference between resolution and the magnification? Yes, the resolution is always we enlarge the size of the image of the object. However, the magnification is we have to use the lens, the specific lens that we call it as a magnification lens. The lowest magnification lens is the scanning lens, and the highest magnification lens is the immersion oil lens. Alright, so now we have to focus with me because I will show you the component, the basic component of the light microscope. This is a normal use in our labs. Okay, first step, we have to on the light sources because a light microscope, yes. So the main sources of the light microscope, of course, is a light. Okay, next, we have to know the component from the top to the bottom. This is, we call it as an ocular lens. Okay, for your information, ocular and content for the objective lens 10 times. Alright, so for this ocular lens, we can move it in and out, okay, based on your uh, size of your eyes. Alright, next, we call it as a magnification lens. Okay, magnification lens, we do have four types. Okay, first, the lowest one, we call it as a scanning. Scanning, I'm so sorry, scanning. It's a four times. Second one, we call it as a lower power of the magnification lens is 10 times. Next is the higher power of the magnification lens is 40 times. And last, certainly not least, is 100 times will be for the oil immersion lens. For today, we're going to do for the... We only do for the 4, 10, and 40 times only. We not do for the 100 times. Okay, next will be the stage. The function for the stage is to put the slide and to encode the slide because we use the clips, okay? To make sure the slide is not moving uh, in and out. Okay, next will be the condenser and the diaphragma. Okay, condenser is, okay, this is the condenser and this is the diaphragma. Okay, the function for the condenser and diaphragma is to control the sources of the light. Okay, next is a focus. Focus, we do have two types. Okay, first we call it as a fine focus and second one we call it as a cost focus. Okay, cost focus and fine focus are very different things. Okay, when you want to use the light microscope, we must always start with the lower magnification, which is four times. Alright, next we continue with the tens and forty. So, how to calculate the magnification uh, image? Basically, we have to times the objective length. Normally, the objective, objective length is always 10 times and time with the magnification 4. For example, 10 times 4. So, the result for the image will be the 40 times. Next, we will do the wet mounting. We will prepare the wet mounting. So, first, the sample that we will use is the chick cell. Normally, students will take their own chip cell using the two speaks. Make sure the two speak will be sterile one. Okay, put the two speak, the sterile two speak into your mouth and just roll it slowly. Make sure don't injure your mouth. Immediately after that, you just hold the two speak smoothly onto the microscope slide.
Next, we will put the staining color. Basically, in our lab, we will, we will use the metalon blue. Okay, when we set the metalon blue, is the color will be the blue color. Alright, so you just put a drop of the blue color onto the microscope slide. Be careful. Immediately after that, we cover it with the cover sleeve. Immediately after that, you put the cover sleeve onto the microscope slide and observe it using the live microscope. Alright, after we just prepare the wet mounting for the blood. Uh, for the chick cell, alright. For information, this is a chick cell. It's a consider for the animal cell, alright. So we have to observe the wet mounting using the light microscope. Like I mentioned earlier, we always start with the lower magnification, which is a four times. Okay. So and then you just put the slide, alright, the mounting slide on the stitch, alright. So this is the clip to encode the slide properly and you just move it right and left using the dish controller and then how you to focus the image of the microscope we have to use the focus technique okay like i mentioned earlier the focus technique we do have two type first we call it as a fine focus and coarse focus and then after that, you will observe the image. All right, so guys, for the conclusion for today, I hope you learned something from me. So first, what you have learned is how to use or how to handle the light microscope. Remember, the magnification microscope only we have four types. Okay, so next, we already learned how to prepare the wet mounting using the chick cell, our sample. And lastly, we already learned about the how to observe the chick cell using our light microscope. So I hope you enjoy our lesson today. So don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to follow our channel. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.